Ariana Grande has a major announcement. And did Katy Perry really celebrate her birthday at Olive Garden? Yum! And Liam Hemsworth talks about his ex-engagement with Miley Cyrus. Wow, we have that and a whole lot more on today's rundown. You guys, welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I just suddenly had a burst of energy. I I'm just know. like so she was singing and everything. To be here, you guys. I'm Erin Robinson. You know me. Danielle Rebay is joining me today, hanging out. We have a lot to talk about. We do. Actually, we're going to start off with my favorite makeup brand. I heard Ariana is teaming up with them. Girl. Hugger up, everybody. Ariana Grande is following in the footsteps of Miley Cyrus and Rihanna as she was just announced as Max Viva Glam new cover girl. Now, um, Mac made the announcement on Instagram, and it looks like it's as if Ariana designed the campaign herself. It's super Ariana inspired. And while Miley and Rihanna's shades of lipstick were kind of like pink or reddish, Ariana seems to be going super dark. It's perfect for fall. Some of these photos, it actually looks black, but it's like a deep, dark plum. Whoa. It looks amazing. Also, her lipstick will be available. It's actually a lipstick and a gloss. Will be available the beginning of January of 2016. And as always, the proceeds go towards um, men, women, and children who are battling HIV and AIDS. That is my favorite campaign they love do it. all year. That's why really I love MAC. I think it's so cool. Well, you mentioned Miley, yeah. and Liam finally spoke out about their relationship. He's been really private about it since they broke up around two years ago. And he did an interview and said, I mean, look, we were together five years, so I don't think those feelings will ever change. And that's good because that proves to me that it was real. It wasn't just a fling. It was a really important part of my life and always will be. She's a free spirit. I think she'll always surprise people with what she does, but she's not a malicious person in any way. She's a young girl who wants to do what she wants to do. So I really love after that he says, you fall in love with who you fall in love with, you can't choose. And I kind of think he's right, do you? No, I think, no? He, I think you can choose who you love. But sometimes you just have that, oh. there is a thing, but that doesn't mean it's love. Like you can be okay. attracted to people and you can't help that, but love is like a different category. That's fair. Does a part of you think that Liam is still trying to make sure that people don't think he was using Miley Cyrus to become more famous? There's a part of me that thinks that like, he, I mean, I think he's a classy guy. I think that he would never say anything bad about her, but I feel like this is him being like, no, it was real. I swear. I promise. It was a real relationship. We loved each other so much. You're right. I, I, don't never, know. I didn't think about that, but I do think there's a touch of that in there maybe. Someone else who is speaking out about his ex is Russell Brand, a name no. that I never thought I'd be saying on this show again after he and Katie divorced like three or four years ago or whatever. Well, he has a new documentary coming out and the new trailer is out and in it, he is talking about his relationship with Katie and kind of just slamming her a little bit. You married Katie Perry. Shut up about that. My God, I'm living like this life. The very thing that I detest. Vapid, vacuous celebrity. Fame and power money is I don't want to give all this up. Argument occurring. This is stupid. After 14 months of marriage, Brand filed for divorce. I've got to live a different life now. Now this documentary is called Brand, A Second Coming, and we haven't watched the film, but according to sources close to the Daily Mail, Russell also says um, about their relationship, quote, that it was not a resolution to anything spiritual, and that, quote, at some point to be happy, I'm going to have to walk away. And walk away, we did. he did. We remember in part of me, her documentary, he basically text messaged her and ended their divorce. I mean, and in, the, in this video, he's also being like, oh, I hate fame, but yet I'm still going to talk about a relationship with Katy Perry because people will talk about it. So I don't know. I hope this is the last time we talk about Russell Brand's movie. This is show. like the lamest of the lame. I do think he's a funny guy. Um, and I think that it's sort of like low hanging fruit for him to go yeah. there because he's funny on his own. Why does he need to throw her under the bus? Um, you just don't do that. Well, looks like it's no sweat off Katie's back because she just celebrated her 31st birthday. Woo! And uh, guess where she celebrated? Um, at the factory for Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> I wish, that would be good. Um, she celebrated at Olive Garden because, Whoa! well, why not, right? She posted a photo on Instagram with a bunch of her friends saying, when you could go anywhere for your B-Day dinner, but you're so OG that you go to OG with all your OGs. 
Uh, oh, those bread sticks, though. I love that hashtag because <laughs> that is the real deal. Yeah. Endless bread sticks, endless salad. We used to go to Olive Garden for our prom dinner. No way. Because that's how classy we were. We were like, oh, if we're going to go to a fancy dinner, let's go to Olive Garden where they have wheels on the chairs. And you stuff. know, I heard it's really good. I've never been. You've never been? No, we didn't have one where I grew up. <gasps> we should go for lunch. Can we? Yes. All right. Bye, guys. So you guys probably have heard it is the 1989 anniversary release. A year ago, 1989 came out. Can you believe it's already been a year? It seems no, like that's sort of scary. I know. Time is flying by. But to celebrate, Taylor decided to give us a little acoustic version of Out of the Woods. I walked out, I said I'm setting you free, but the monsters turned out to be just trees. When the sun came up, you were looking at to Twitter yesterday to say, quote, to celebrate happy birthday 1989, here's something from me out of the woods solo acoustic piano performance. And it was really beautiful. She debuted this clip as part of her Grammy Museum exhibit. But she did preface the song with a little bit about what uh, inspired it. And while we all kind of pretty much know who inspired it, it was kind of fun to hear her talk about it again. <laughs> the number one feeling I felt in the whole relationship was anxiety. It doesn't mean that it's not special and extraordinary just to have a relationship that's fragile and somehow meaningful in that fragility. And speaking of musical artists we love, Adele opened up in an in-depth interview. She hasn't done one in like three years, uh. so she really let it all out. And um, she told ID Magazine that she loves American Horror Story and Teen Wolf and The Walking Dead. She talked a little bit about her breakups. She swears a lot, which is so hilarious. And get this, she talks about Taylor Swift. So Adele tells a story about how she hung out with Ryan Tedder from One Republic. He's a great songwriter. And he plays her a song, and she says, I love this song, who did this? And he said, Max Martin. And she's like, who's Max Martin? Max Martin's a great songwriter. He mm -hmm. does like every pop hit. But guess what song it was? What? Trouble by Taylor Swift. Adele, I agree with you, really catchy stuff. Well, um, she went on to talk about motherhood and having little babies, and she said it's really hard to leave her son at home. Wait, she says it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> She says the F word so many times, I love it. She says it was really hard to leave her son at home. Harder than she expected, and she's so grateful for him. And she said, quote, It used to be that my own world revolved around me, but now it has to revolve around him. So, aww. That's why I don't have time for babies. I don't have time no, for that stuff. No time. I can barely wipe my own butt. Really. Ah! I don't have time for that. So what do you think of Ariana Grande's new lip color? Eva Glam, all right. And I want to know what you think about Russell talking smack about Katie. Oh, I have strong feelings about Just this. Just go away, please. <laughs> uh, now that you know what Danielle and I feel about these things, let us know in the comments all of your feels, and you guys will be back here tomorrow on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Demi Lovato is unleashing her inner trap queen, y'all, in that box on the left. And on the right, Demi and Nick Jonas announce a major bombshell, and you don't want FOMO.